people, my name is Erin Buko and welcome to MM's home. So today's video is the very first makeover in my apartment and I'm very very excited about this. And it's going to be making over this closet that is a complete disaster and mess right now. So I definitely want to create something that's more practical and easy for me to organize and actually have specific places where I put specific things. Right now it's kind of a mess, I have things hung up, I have things in the drawers. And basically I'm creating a whole closet that is just going to work for me and I just want to give you guys some ideas of things that you can do in your small closet and I hope this video is helpful. So let's get straight into making over this apartment and organizing it as well. So here's what my closet looks like right now. It's very disorganized and definitely not functional. So I definitely wanted to add more storage space as well as actually put my shoes into my closet and have a more put together closet. So I went on Pinterest and looked for some ideas, got some photos, you know, looked around to see what I like. And these were the two photos that stood out to me. And so I kind of put that into my design notebook, which I actually have. <laughs> I have a whole notebook where I kind of plan my designs. Here is the initial design that I came up with for this closet. I like to draw out my design to kind of see what I am going to do. It kind of just gears me in the right direction as well as allows me to know what I need to buy. I feel like that's a good tip and a good thing that you should do if you're designing somewhere. You don't have to be the best drawer, just you know, sketch something out to look like what you want the area to look like. So the first thing that I did was to kind of arrange all the clothes that are hanging. I had some more clothes that I had to put on hangers as well as just organize how I want them to be set. I definitely wanted everything to be organized according to, you know, larger stuff to smaller stuff. And I'll show you exactly how I organized it right now. On this side, I organized it with blazers at the back here, then all my denim jackets, then hoodies and like sweatshirts, then my actual like nice sweater. So that's basically what how I have it organized here. On this side, I have my long dresses at the back, then shorter dresses, then more tops. So like regular nicer tops at the front. So that's how I organized these two sections. So I went ahead and cleaned up the rest of the closet, especially the top of my dresser. I just had a lot of junk on that area, to be honest. I just threw things on it so you definitely want to clean out the area that you're working on to make sure that it is ready to be you know decorated so the first thing that I did is to build up my laundry hamper laundry basket and I found this one on Amazon I absolutely love how it looks it's kind of like a wooden rattan kind of laundry hamper which I absolutely love I love how it looks and then I went ahead to build my shoe rack so I got this one off of Wayfair I believe So as you can see, this can't fit in here. <laughs> and I thought I pushed it enough, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to push my dresser more to this side and like push the laundry basket more in because this needs to fit in here. That's the way I have thought about it. It has to fit in here. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of work. So for this to work, I have to move some clothes from that side to this side, unfortunately, because I can't have that many clothes there if I'm gonna move this more to that side. I did not know this was gonna happen, but you know, sometimes this comes up and you just have to, you know, make the changes as you go. <laughs> so I'm going to move some clothes over to this side as much as I can so that I can push this more to that side. And this is so heavy. My brother and my sister helped me put this in the day that I moved in. So I didn't carry this thing on my own. So moving this is gonna be a lot of work. So whew, let's do this. everything around <laughs> because just looking at it I don't exactly like the fact that the hamper is completely hidden because I actually bought a hamper that I actually like and it was possibly meant to be part of the whole design of you know the closet it's actually meant to be a styling 
part of it so now I feel like since this has more of like a depth on this side I think the shoe rack should go on this side because it's longer so it's still going to show as you can see the laundry hamper is like completely hidden and I feel like it would make more sense to put this on that side since it's longer so this is just me and my design brain a lot of times I look at things and I'm like this doesn't look right I need to fix it so I know this is crazy it's gonna be a lot of work I'll switch the clothes as well as move this freaking dresser again but let's do this out how to move the dresser in a way that is actually easier because I have carpet down there so that was kind of always the issue when I was trying to move it but I realized that I just had to kind of shuffle it around like move left move right I don't know if that makes sense but I basically figured out an easier way to move it so that was very helpful all right y'all successful I switched things around I'm able to move this thankfully so now I have my hamper on this side and my shoe wrap on that side and I like how it looks you can now see my hamper and I, just, I like the arrangement of it right now so as you can see I moved all my longer dresses to this side and all my jackets and sweaters to that side so yeah everything is organized right now and I'm going to finish building my shoe rack and then put my shoes in and then move on to this top area that's very disorganized <laughs> so i went ahead and put the stacked shoe rack in i bought two of that shoe rack and i just stacked them on top of each other and i love how it looks in that corner <sighs> good progress good progress all right y'all made some good progress today i actually have to go to dinner with a friend so i need to end this today and continue tomorrow so i'll see you guys tomorrow and that's when we're actually going to be tackling this top area yeah, i'm really excited to show you guys what i have planned for that area and also this area to put my dresser so tomorrow we'll tackle all this and the beauty of youtube is that you only have to wait one second for tomorrow so here is tomorrow all right, y'all, welcome to day two. Now I'm going to tackle this top area, but first I'm actually going to put my shoes onto my shoe rack because I haven't really put stuff in there yet. So let's do my shoes. Time to put the shoes on the shoe rack. I kind of found a way to, you know, organize them nicely. But then you guys, here is where things start to <laughs> go wrong. So I bought this cube organizer from Target and I didn't realize how large it was. I ended up building up this whole organizer thing which actually took a while it's quite hard to build and my whole idea with this was to put it up on you know the top part of my closet but then it didn't fit this is definitely my fault because I should have measured it before I you know purchased it but you know sometimes you forget to do things like that So this is where things that going weird. I had to take out more clothes, trying my best to push it up into that space because I really want to take advantage of that top area. Like the ceiling there is really high, but I don't think it was the best idea. My lord, that was a lot of work. But I've achieved. The cubbies are up. Oh, the cube organizer is up. I am tired. And. Anyways, I had to actually build it up on the rack itself. I had to break it down so many times, rebuild it so many times, and then um, the worst happened. So for these cubbies, I got these cool baskets from Wayfair. They're actually like foldable, so which is really cool. And then when you open it up, then it's just like the cube basket so i'm gonna put some of those extra clothes that were up there in here probably gonna put like liner in it first before i do that but that's basically what these ones are for oh. are you serious after all this stress can't fit i'm so upset I'm gonna get back to this. 
so this was definitely a very annoying part of this whole process when the basket couldn't fit into the cubby so i had wasted so much of my time working on this it really annoyed me but then i ended up coming up with a better idea which i absolutely love i just put the baskets up on their own i was able to put you know the shoes that i don't wear as often on the shoe rack and have these four baskets on the side which actually looks so great so i'm actually happy that the cubbies didn't work out all right so this has been a long annoying stressful process but this is basically what i have right now and i'm going to put my clothes back in and i'm actually happy with the way it looks to be honest with you with the four baskets i'm going to end up putting some stuff into there for storage and then i'm going to style this area so I'm cleaning up the top of my dresser again because this whole process kind of dirtied it up again. So now I can put back all my clothes finally. I feel like I have this under control. <laughs> and basically these things happen for sure while you're designing because when you have a design idea sometimes you don't really you know measure everything correctly or you know put everything in the right places and so this can come up in any situation so definitely you know be prepared for pivoting and you know coming up with new ideas so in the basket that i put on the top i put in some clothes as well as my purses in those baskets and they're definitely a very good addition in terms of um, more storage space and they look amazing. I absolutely love how these baskets look. And yeah, I just put them up there right next to the shoe rack. So I filled up these baskets. I put my bags in here. So I have like all my purses and bags and stuff like that in here. So if I have any them, I can just like grab them from this basket. And these other ones, I have dresses, skirts, and like scarves and hair ties and stuff that I don't use as often are all on the very last ones i don't always have to go get them so i think this is very well organized because to be honest with you i hardly wear dresses the dresses that i regularly wear i have them hung I hardly wear skirts <laughs> so basically i feel like that definitely works for me with those clothes and then i have all the shoes that i don't wear as often here as well now let's work on this area the top of my dresser so it is finally time to style the top of the dresser as well as just the whole closet. I got these two really cool mirrors to add some geometry to the closet as well as a black accent with the frames. I love this jewelry organizer that I got. Put my makeup organizer on the dresser as well. The beautiful round globe lamp is also really great. I'm so excited to show you guys what this closet looks after. You guys are not ready and yeah, let's see what it looks like. enjoyed the whole process as much as I did and also I love how it looks as much as I do I absolutely adore how it looks so I'm very excited about that make sure to comment down what you guys think what you would have done differently or what you really like about it I'd like to would love to hear from you guys also give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you enjoyed it make sure to like the video so more people can view it also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new and also click on the notification bell to get notified every single time I post a new video this whole series is going to be me making over different rooms in my apartment there's way more videos coming in this series so make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to know when I post and I'll see you guys in my next video I love you guys so much have an amazing day bye y'all